Thank you so much for joining today. I'm uh, uh, the lucky one who gets to show you the CRM for Outlook from Boyum IT. As Barry mentioned earlier, uh, CRM for Outlook is, a, is an integration to your SAP Business One where you can uh, do your CRM activities in Outlook without logging into SAP. So that way you have uh, everything at your fingertip. We all spend a lot of times in Outlook because of emails and you can see your customer information uh, in Outlook and you can actually do in documents in Outlook like sales order, sales quotation. Here are a couple things. Uh, I did this slide for you to see. So you, you can view the customer's uh, doc, open documents. You can add UDFs in Outlook. Let's say you have a lot of UDFs on the business partner screen. You can make them visible in Outlook. You have KPIs, and as I said also earlier, you can do sales orders, quotes, activities, and so on. And if you have the B1 usability package already, that's even better because you can do some SQL reports with the B1 usability package, and you can attach them for yourself in Outlook, and I will show you in the system. And what's the beauty is on all that, it's real time. So if I do an activity in Outlook, it flows back to SAP Business One right away. You don't have to have the client running as long as the server is up somewhere in the world, the server with SAP Business One. I keep saying server, but of course, it has to have SAP Business One. For example, I have a server over in Europe. I can pull that stuff up. And if I do an activity or if I do a sales order, it will go straight into SAP Business One. And that's the beauty of it. So let me go into SAP, uh, into Outlook. Can you see that, Barry? I hope so. You see my Outlook right now? Yeah. So here is my Outlook. And you see I have business partner information up here. It's because Karsten is a contact person with this business partner. If I switch, uh, if I switch uh, to a different email, you see it changes because Tino is a, a contact with this supplier. And you see right here matches. So Tino is actually a contact. That email is attached to two different business partners. And let's say I want to work with, um, oops, I want to work actually with Michael Chimp. I can just switch it from here. Once you're up here, if I go to team, for example, it switches straight to the business partner uh, where this, con uh, this contact person is found. So up here, you have all your business partner information. If I click on the yellow arrow, as you know from SAP Business One, you have your business partner information, just like you have in SAP Business One a channel tab, the remark tabs, and so on. If I click right here, this is really nice if you travel and then you have to go to a customer, you just click on here and it opens up uh, Google Maps for me. So you can look up the customer's uh, location. Here you can make a phone call. It will open up the applications on your laptop to call your customer. Right here, you have your sales year to date, month to date, how many total documents this customer has. Okay. Over here, you see the balance of the business partner right here. Uh, here, you see the top five items sold in 2018. You have everything at your fingertip for this customer. Here, you see the UDFs I was talking about. Those are the ones just with a drop down. I see the UDFs and you can select which UDFs you want to display. OK, over here you have the business partner uh, contact, the contact person information. If I click on here, it would open up my email to send an email to team right away. OK, or let's say I want to send an email to his manager. I just switch the contact person. They all come from the business partner master data on the contact uh, tab and I click here, it would send the email to Daniel Brown in this uh, in this case. OK, it gives you the title, also the phone number. Also, if you have UDFs on the uh, contact person, uh, on the contact person, 
then you can display them here. If you are on somebody here on the email, but you really need to look at a different business partner and you don't have an email, it's not a problem. You just go here and find them and you just uh, put in three letters right here and it finds all the business partner with MIC. So let's pull this one up. Uh, blockies, then it's a supplier in this case, and you have the information here on the right side. You have the contacts, you have the open items and trackings. I will get back to trackings. If you want to add a contact to this business partner, you just click here. And the beauty is you can use, you can add a contact from your uh, Outlook, uh, Outlook contacts also. OK, um, here, show your favorites. The recent uh, searches come up right here, which is really nice, too. So let's go back to trackings. What is a tracking? Tracking is, if I click on that, you see my tracking right here switch to four. OK, what it is sticky notes. Just imagine sticky notes. OK, I put a sticky note on this so I can go back and follow up on this for whatever reason. They are all the same, I'm sorry, because I, those are my simple emails for uh, the demo. And then we, when you're done and, and did your sticky note task, you just untrack it. So this is really nice. Uh, you know, we all have sticky notes on our desk. You can track it here. But then again, you can also create an activity. You see right here, you can create an activity, quotation orders, sales opportunity, or a service call. Let's create an activity. And this message is telling me that an activity for this email already exists, and that's okay. I'm going to do another one. So you see it. So the activity window opens. If you have seen here in Outlook uh, in the previous version, it looks a little bit different. And I'm going to put in the other remarks a CRM for Outlook Soft Engine, and I am going to uh, uh, schedule it for the 18th. It's a Sunday, but that's OK. Uh, I can, uh, this is a webinar. OK, put in the email, copies in automatically. It's not a very long email I have, so I'm typing something else in. Uh, you can link documents, as you know, in SAP Business One. If there would be an attachment on this email, it would attach. So you have a lot of flexibility. And then I say, OK, I want you to create this meeting in Outlook for me. OK, and you can invite participants. So you highlight those two. Then all you really do is save and close. And the next thing that's going to come up, of course, is the screen to invite people, like you're used to it when you create a meeting in Outlook. And if I go to my Outlook calendar, you're going to see on the 18th, here it is. I'm going to open it up. You see right here, this is a webinar. It came straight into my um, Outlook calendar. And I'm going to open up SAP Business One just for demo purposes. You do not need the, uh, you do not have to have SAP open, okay? Or not, not even have the client running. You don't need to have it installed. But let's say my server is, let's say this is my server. It's over in Europe. And if I go to my activities now, you will see it's here. There we go. CRM for Outlook, Soft Engine, it copied in. Uh, my text. So that's the beauty. You have everything, anything you do here, it is um, it is real time. It goes over to SAP Business One. OK, you can do an order or a quotation. If I do a sales order, very nice new screen. You put in your delivery date, just like what you're used to it in SAP Business One. Here are your items. You choose your items. You do exactly what you are used to it in SAP Business One. I call it, I was going to say webinar and put it in here. Let's do another item. And I'm going to click Save and Close. OK? You can see here Logistic and Accounting tab. So you have all these user fields and so on. So I'm going to click Save and Close. And 
There we go. It added it to my open item list right here. I'll get to this in a minute. And if I go here, I'm just going to open it up for you to see if I go in here and I think I did a sales order and I open it up, you will see it shows up right here. You see on the remarks this webinar and also on the customer reference number. So I just want you to see it's real time. Doesn't matter where the server is. Uh, time uh, timeline. This uh, this is a timeline, a list of uh, what have been uh, you have been doing, and then right here you see the open items. So this is very important. These are all the open documents for this customer. So if I go to the activities there, or if I do to the sales order, you will see the sales order I just created. You see right here on 11.15, 11.16. You can go back here, of course, pull it back up, and you can update it. Oh, I forgot to add maybe um, an item, and you update it right here. Okay, so very important, close all your old documents because they will show up on the open item uh, list right here. And as I mentioned earlier, what's really nice, if you have the usability package, you can go here and you can attach SQL reports right here. Okay, so the last 10 items bought for this customer, I got the list right here. If I go to a different customer, this is Microchimp, last 10 items bought. It's different, okay? So, or for example, a sales report. This one is not very pretty, but I want you to get the idea that uh, you can attach your own reports here, but they come from the B1 usability package. If you have it, you see universal functions, okay? You can do a chart. I'll have an example. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so if I can go, if I go here, settings, what's really nice, what I like a lot, this one is uh, very nice, the uh, calendar. If I create an activity, a meeting in SAP Business One, the other way around, I can sync it to my Outlook calendar. So I create an activity, I'm in SAP Business One, I'm in Europe, I create an activity, and then it will show up on the Outlook calendar. Okay. There are some other uh, settings when you do a track, uh, uh, track settings if you want to create an activity automatically and so on. Okay, so let's go over here to Natalie. So always remember all this here, this banner we are working on, it's all business partner related. I, I click on somebody, it recognizes the emails, it pulls up the business partner information. So Natalia, I keep saying Natalie, does not have has no information. She is not a contact. Uh, she's not a contact for a, a business partner. So you can click. She is a contact. Let's put her to Microchimp. So let's put her to Microchimp. I have more data in there. She is a new contact for Microchimp. So she emailed you. You add her, and she's asking you, "Hey, how much money do we owe you?" So as soon you uh, as soon you add her, you can see it right here how much they owe you. So you can say you're the new accountant. You guys owe us $5,400. And then you also can tell her how many open air invoices they have. And you can pull it up right there. That's the only invoice. OK, so this is all business partner related now. I don't want to see this. I want to see what's concerning me, me as the sales employee, for example. I'm a sales employee. I'm logging on. I want to see how many quotations I have opened, a lot of them. And you see right here, it's different business partner because this has nothing to do with business partner. This has to do with me. How many activities do I have opened? Way too many. I need to close them. Okay, how many opportunities do I have open? So this is all me related. Then here, I love this one. I can see what's overdue. Of course, everything. <laughs> it's a simple database. What do I have overdue? And then what is upcoming? This is really nice. Just imagine you are every day in Outlook. First thing you click, okay, what's upcoming? Oh, this activity is upcoming and so on. Okay. Here is my sales here today. Don't look at the numbers. It's totally in red. I did a lot of closing credit memos. 
So I'm not doing very well in sales. I'm in negative. But those are my uh, sales year to date, my sales month to date, and so on. Sales opportunities, my total quotations, my total invoices. Okay. And the beauty is you can do reports from here. So again, you need to have the usability package. So I want, a, I want a report just for me. So I want this. I'm a manager, for example. Let's say Barry is a manager, and he's like, I want a customer list with their, with their balances. So I'm pulling it up on this screen, and here are all my customers with their open balances. Okay. Or as I mentioned earlier, you can have a graph. It's a very simple one. You can do a graph report. If you have the B1 usability package installed, very, very nice. Let's say I'm in sales, so you can customize it, or you have a user, they are not in sales, they are in purchasing. So you make sure they can see what um, what the what that uh, position is. So if you only deal with purchasing on the supplier side, then you make sure you hide the sales part and you make sure the purchasing part is available goes uh, both ways and you see right here i can pull up now my all my uh, ap invoices they are associated with me okay so i think that's pretty much it i did the settings uh, attachment one more thing i want to show you I keep forgetting because none of the emails have attachments if uh, if you have attachments uh, um set up you will uh, you need to set this up in, on the server component on the crm for outlook server component okay at the end you have like an option to set up attachments and also keep in mind if you have more than one database you can connect more than one database to crm for outlook and if this contact person for example is in two databases you would get this just like this but with the different databases it would say maxitech maxitech maybe and you are contact and it would give you the database name okay but if you have attachment set up and i do an activity what's really nice is it attaches it for me you see attachment one it attaches it for me or you browse uh, 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 or you browse and do the attachments. OK, so this is really good to know and I keep forgetting it. So um, that's a quick demo. Uh, actually, uh, I think I did cover everything. I give it back to you, Barry. If I forgot something, you've seen it before. Let me know. 